It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Brewhouse Gusworks and it's a bottle of their Red Ale coming in at 4.7% ABV and 25 IBUs. There's a look at the bottle label. There's a the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. I do like a Gusswork beer. Had a few in the past. And of course, as some of you know, I'm a big fan of Red Ale. So I'm looking forward to this one. We've got a two finger, slightly off white head, good levels of carbonation, a hazy beer. Looks really good. Austrian craft beer then. Hazy golden amber beer. Let's get the aroma. It smells really good. A little bit of citrus in there. Piney, grapefruity. And what seems like a touch of Maybe some lager malt. It's got that dry lemon taste like you might expect from a lager. Interesting aroma, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh, that's quite right there, quite right, um, maybe some Saz hops or Most definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, some, some lager malts in there. Maybe a, a little bit of crushed red malt, just to give it some a, a redness in the colour. Uh, it's got a, a bit of a, 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 um, a dry, quite powerful, longing bitterness that really kind of hangs around. For me, there's not... But a red ale, there's not enough of that hop piling through. There's a touch of pepperiness, there's a touch of lemon. Other than that, this just long, longer, extremely long bitterness. It's the best way I can describe it. It's just a really kind of intense, long bitterness that hangs around probably far too long, a lot longer than it should. I, I just don't think they've got this right at all. Uh, everything's in Austrian. Um, maybe some Saz hops in here. It's certainly not, I was really looking forward to this. I was really thinking to myself, this could be a fabulous beer. Uh, the colour's not too bad. The colour's, it, it, it's most definitely a red ale in the colour. There's nice lacing on the glass. But then the aroma, I was picking some, I was thinking to myself, am I really picking up lager malt in the aroma? I, I most certainly am. From getting the colour right, everything else is more or less falling apart in terms of the beer and the beer style. For me, the the... The worst thing about this beer is, is that longing bitterness that offers no flavour. Uh, even with the, the probably the Saz hop uh, used in this beer, or maybe some, I don't know, Halatau or something, it's spicy 
And it should be offering some kind of a touch of lemon or something in there, but if there is a little bit of lemon, it's not that much. It's an astring astringent long bitterness that hangs around far too long and they've used lager malt. It, it, it more or less tastes like a really kind of old fashioned bitter lager. Good carbonation, easy drinkability, 4.7% ABV. Uh, Brewhouse Gusberg actually sent me this beer. So I'm just gonna put it over there. Um, always honest with the reviews. Um, I'm, I'm hopeful that the brewer don't mind too much that uh, I've not been too keen on this beer. I'm pretty sure that he would appreciate that more than me standing here because I was sent some beer by him that I'm standing here raving about it. That would be a silly thing to do. Um, I think they got a lot to do here with this beer. They got a lot of kind of rectifying to do and a lot of adjusting to do to get this right. Uh, it needs to be a lot sweeter. Um, it needs to be more biscuit malts, more kind of ready, lovely biscuity malts coming through. And then maybe change the hops out. Put some, put some Cascade and Centennial or something in there for the red ale. Um, yeah, don't use lager malt and, and just bittering hops. I wasn't a fan of that at all. It's a very poor beer in my eyes. It's a four out of 10. Four out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.